come on uber you can do better than that and you want to be able to keep your tip so read carefully if you don't take that first one they give you yeah there's a chance that they may not send you another one hey y'all what's going on i hope y'all are doing well today and i hope you're out there trying to get your money just like me so welcome to my channel my name is b i'm a full-time gig worker i promote multi-apping on this channel so if that's something you're interested in be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn on those notifications so you know when I post my next video. I already have an order this morning. It's about 8.53. So I'm headed towards uh, Walmart for a spark order. It's for $16.42. Uh, it's two orders going 4.3 miles. Uh, looks like I'll get $9.42 today and then there's a $7 tip on it. The first order has 16 items on it, and the second order has 32 items. And it looks like they're both going to apartments. So not a bad little order to get my day started. And the last drop off is uh, leaving me in an area where I should be able to get another order pretty quick. I'm 3.2 miles away from the pickup, and it should take me about seven minutes to get there. So let's go get these on board. the orders out here pretty quick. Um, the first drop off is like 1.2 miles away and should take me about five minutes. So let's go get this customer the groceries. I was grateful to have my little wagon because that was a long walk definitely and the order had a couple heavy things in it so glad I didn't have to carry them all that way all right the next drop off is uh, 3.1 miles away gonna take me about eight minutes to get over there so let's go do this My next order is on DoorDash. I'm not very far from the restaurant right now. I'm about two minutes, just a half a mile. It's supposed to be picked up by 9.42. It's already 9.43, but I'll be there in plenty of time. I won't get a contract violation. You have to be more than 10 minutes late to the pickup or the drop off to get one of those. It's for $6.50 and it's going 2.3 miles, uh, four items picking up from Santa Fe Cafe. These two for Ann, correct? Yeah. All right, thank you. All right, I love it when the order is ready and waiting. Easy pickup. I'm 1.2 miles away from the drop-off and should take me about three minutes. The delivery is due at 9.55 a.m. and it's 9.49, so I should make it in plenty of time. All right, 
right, uh, that order ended up having a hidden tip on it of $2. So it increased from uh, $6.50 to $8.50. I'll take it. So Uber Eats has just been sending me garbage this morning. They sent me this one for $3.98 going five miles. No thank you, Uber Eats. And they sent me another one for $2.68 going 5.2 miles. And another trash order from Uber Eats for $2.54 going 4.9 miles. Come on Uber, you can do better than that. All right, my next order is on DoorDash. Uh, once again, picking up from Santa Fe Cafe. They were quick last time. I'm um, pretty close to the store this time, so I don't know that they will have it ready by the time I get in there. But let's go find out. I have Joseph F this time. I'll find you one. Alright, thank you. Not everything? Alright, thank you Thanks so much. much. Alright guys, I had about a 10 minute wait in there, uh, which is about what I expected um, since I was so close to the restaurant. But I'm only 2.4 miles uh, from the drop off and it should take me about 6 minutes to get there. So let's go get these people their food. That order had a hidden tip on it also. It was a dollar fifty more. Ended up being eight dollars up from the six fifty that was offered me. So I'll take those all day long. My next order is on Spark. It's for $17 going 2.1 miles. It's one order. Uh, I'll get seven dollars today, and then there's a ten dollar tip on it that I will get tomorrow. It was a round robin offer. So it's 1027 right now and due to be picked up at uh, 1045. I'm a good 10 to 15 minutes away from the store right now. I'm watching for something to pop up just to kind of take me over that direction. If I don't get anything, that's okay. All right, it, it took them about eight or nine minutes to get that out, uh, not too bad. So the customer's 2.2 miles away and should take me about six minutes to get it off. They also requested that I leave the groceries in front of the garage door. Yeah, so always make sure you're looking for special instructions on these orders because they will sometimes specify, you know, that they want it in a certain spot other than the front door. And you want to be able to keep your tip, so read carefully. All right, let's go get this customer their groceries. And this Spark order had uh, 24 items and it's to a house, so it should be a pretty easy drop off. My next order is on DoorDash and it's picking up from McDonald's. It's really only going 2.4 miles. My iPhone is picking up old mileage. It has five items on it and it's for $6.50. I don't expect this to go up. Six, five, eight, seven, four, six. Oh, thank you, you too. So McDonald's does it right. They know how to package it. They got the food in the bag. They got the drinks in the bag. It just makes it easy to carry. All you have to do is make sure you're not tipping the bag sideways and you're good to go. All right, I'm 1.2 miles away from the drop off and it's gonna take me about four minutes. It's gonna leave me in an area where I can get another order quickly. So let's go get this off. on Spark. It's for $23. There's two orders going 5.1 miles. $9 of that I'll get today and 14 of that is a tip so I'll get that tomorrow. The first order has seven items, 13 units, and then the second order has 14 items, 16 units. So both are pretty small orders and 
it was a round robin offer and it was probably about the third round robin offer I received before I accepted this one. I'm not one to be too concerned about my acceptance rate. I'm more concerned about the money that I'm gonna get on the order than if my acceptance rate is at 80%. They're not always gonna send you the best or highest paying offer on the first round robin that they send you. Could you miss out on a round robin? Sure. If you don't take that first one they give you, yeah, there's a chance that they may not send you another one. But that's why I multi-app. If I don't get something on Spark, then I'll just take something on another app. So I'm less than 10 minutes away from the store. Uh, it's 11.31 right now. Pickup time, of course, is 11.45, but I'll be able to pick it up at 11.40. So I'll definitely be there on time for this one. I have both of those on board. It only took him like four minutes to get him out here, which is fantastic. I love it when that happens. So now I'm headed to the first drop off and it's 4.2 miles. It's gonna take me about 12 minutes to get there. But once I drop this first one off, the second one is really close. Alright, that was an easy drop off. The next drop off is, like I said, really close. It's 0.2 miles. It's gonna take me like a minute to get there. So just a couple blocks away. So let's go get this off. My next order is on DoorDash, picking up from Toro Poke. It's in the mall. I am sitting in the mall parking lot, but I just have to go to the other side of the mall to get to the entrance of the food court. It shows just one item for $6.50. This might go up just a little bit, but if it doesn't go up, that's okay. I'm still getting my $2 per mile. Uh, looks like it's only 3.1 miles total. The restaurant's usually pretty quick, so I don't mind picking up from there. So now I'm headed to the drop-off, which is 2.5 miles away. It's going to take me about six minutes to get there. <clears throat> this is a leave-it door, so it should be a pretty quick drop-off. So let's go get it off. My next order is on DoorDash, picking up from Chick-fil-A. It's for $12.50, going 8.6 miles. Uh, there's three items on it. I don't think this will go up. That wasn't the reason I took it. I needed to kind of head back up that direction uh, because at one o'clock I have a Sam's Club order that I need to pick up and it's for $20.04. For Sam's Club, I always get the the base pay and the tip all on the same day. So I'll get that $20.04 all today. So that's one thing I do like about Sam's Club is you get all that tip up front. I don't know why they can't do that with just the regular Walmart orders. That would be so nice. Actually, just last week, I got tip baited $25 on Walmart Spark orders. So that's a lot. That That's a lot to be tip baited on um, for a one week period. So Spark really needs to think about how they're doing these tips. So I'm headed to Chick-fil-A right now. It's 2.3 miles and should take me about five minutes to get over there. Tina, hi, do you have an order for Tina B? Um, right there. I think it might be it. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Have a good one. All right, so I'm 7.6 miles away from the 
customer and it's going to take me 13 minutes to get over there so I'm going to be a little late to the uh, Sam's Club order. This drop off is a lot farther than I thought it was uh, when I looked at it originally on the uh, offer. Hello, your name? Tina. All right, so I always like to make sure I got the right person. There could be more than one person waiting for food, right? <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Have a good one. All right, she was outside waiting for me so that was good. It was a hand to customer. Um, it stayed $12.50, and like I said, I didn't really expect it to go up. All right, let's get moving and head to that spark order at Sam's. So I'm 5.3 miles away from Sam's Club. Gonna take me about nine minutes to get down there. Uh, it's pretty much all highway, so it's 111 right now. So it's gonna be about 120 when I get there. Hopefully they'll get it out to me pretty quick and I can get it to the customer on time. All right guys, uh, it didn't take them too long to get it out, maybe nine minutes. So I'm 6.7 miles away from the drop off and it's gonna take me about 17 minutes to get up there. So let's go get this customer the groceries. guys I am done recording for the day I took you on my journey for a little over five hours it's a hot one today I'm probably not gonna work too much longer so if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and want to see more content just like this be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you guys stay safe out there and I will see you in the next video Dude, there's a turn lane in there. There's a turn lane for a reason there, buddy. Even if you are making a Yui, you've got plenty of room. <laughs>